Let's talk about code words. I love code words. They are so fun and a great way to do some kind of correcting behavior that has the potential to be shaming. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use a code word instead. And a good example of this is there was a family who wanted to be able to say, please stop staring when they were in public, but was uncomfortable saying that in public because it's really uncomfortable for whatever's being stared at and the child. And so what they did was they came up with the code word, mo, mo, mo. And so one day they went, they were eating at a restaurant and this gentleman walked in the door and he was super tall. And in this family is a very young boy who's obsessed with the MBA. And so he stared directly at that gentleman when he walked in and did not take his eyes off of him. The mom was able to recognize what was happening and said, mo, mo, mo. And the child and the other kids at the table looked at her and they all giggled and laughed. And nobody knew anything different except for that family. So one of the things that we want to be careful of when we are establishing code words is we want to make sure that we make up a word. Because if we use a word that's already in our language, that child is going to establish the alternative meaning with that word for life. We want to avoid that. Another good example of using code words is I was working with a family who had a young child that was wanting to touch everything everywhere they went. And so when they would go to the grocery store, they would say, the mom would find herself saying, stop that, don't touch that, get back in the cart, stick by me. And it just got very frustrating and very tiresome. So she created a code word that meant all of that and they would use it when they would go to the store. And instead of frustration, they would laugh and giggle and have fun and the behavior was under control.